called the 207 and it's Peugeot's biggest small car yet. As we can see, it's a very pretty car, but is it any good? Well, let's have a look on the inside. It's got a, an iPod connector and a sat-nav and radio and so on, and it's all rather beautifully lit by this Californian architect's glass sunroof thing. However, it does still look a bit like the inside of Jacques Cousteau's wetsuit in here. It's also got this. It's a built-in air freshener. It's something like Wang Chung or Job Jobber oil. So, you get more space and more toys, but you have to part with more money. This one I'm in, for example, it's the 1.6 diesel and it costs almost £15,000, which is a lot of money for a small car, even if it is quite a big one. To see if it's worth it, I'm going to test this ginormous city car on the streets of Liverpool. And to spur me on a bit, I'm going to have a race, and it's against the latest French development in urban transport solutions. A couple of young men in silly trousers. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. I should probably explain that these are not just any young men. They are masters of something called parkour. It's a French invention and it involves that sort of thing. Running around the city, leaping across buildings and benches. You know, keeps them off the street. will run from the edge of Liverpool to the finish line at the Liver Building. For me, it'll be about six miles. Their journey, of course, is pretty much as the crow flies. What am I doing? Ooh, 25 miles an hour. They'll have difficulty matching that. Anyway, the car, well, it's got a nice driving position, the steering's nice and weighty, the seat is excellent, and there's quite a bit more room in here than in the old one. But there is a problem, something you really feel on the city streets. You see, because the 207 is bigger and it's stuffed with more gizmos and more safety equipment, it's almost 300 pounds heavier than the old car. And yet, it still has to haul itself around with the same engines as the 206. The car I'm in has the 1.6 diesel, the best of the current range. But it's still not great. It's really sluggish low down, and that's annoying. Yes, right, we're off. Not only were the Scouse Spider-Men unstoppable, they also knew where they were going. Which I didn't. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where the liver building is? Oh, no, the liver building. Why isn't it called Liverpool, then? Well, er... Uh... There they are. Look at that, they look as if they nick something. But I didn't catch them for long. 
Oh, please! Meanwhile, the air freshener device was getting up my nose. That's great, you can buy a brand new car and they immediately make it smell like a 25-year-old minicab. We're not all shopping! I had just two miles to go in the sluggish Peugeot. I'm not going to be beaten by some prepubescent teenagers in camouflage trousers. I must have averaged 10 or 12 miles an hour. I should win. It was close, but so were they. Come on! That must be the Liver building. They're not here. They are not here. No sign of combat trousers, man. That is a victory for beer guts over washboard stomachs, fashionable clothes from army surplus shops, stupid expensive traders. Here I am in my tatty jeans and my old biff about shoes with the broken laces, and I've won. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake!